Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Capricorn. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of March 1st through March 7th. Now, keep in mind that the timing is fluid, and not every reading is for you. So, what do we have for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of March 1st through the 7th? What do we have for Capricorn? What do we have for Capricorn? Cornucopia. Now, cornucopia, cor cornucopia is harvest time, right? It's abundance, extreme abundance. This is uh, having everything that you need. This is, uh, it's time. It's time for you to receive something something that you worked hard to receive. Look at the light shining in. So there's some sort of enlightenment as well. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time for you to receive. This is a blessing. Okay? This is blessings of some sort. So you are receiving some sort of blessings this week. Okay? Look at it. It's harvest time of some sort. It really is harvest time. So this is absolutely abundance, a lot of abundance. Something very beautiful is coming your way. Mm, well, I guess we're going to take those, huh? may have to do with love, maybe a new love. Do not be tempted to lower your standards. You can have it all. You can have it all, Capricorn. This is about love, okay? Do not be tempted to lower your standards. There is love to be had. And it is a big, huge amount of love. So you are definitely receiving a blessing, and it does have to do with love. Okay? Um, this is also enlightenment. When I see that light coming through, that's enlightenment. Um, there, You can have it all. You can have it all. Um, and it is time. It is time for you to have it all. This is a bright, bountiful harvest. Okay? Um, so may, you may be receiving some rewards as well. Some rewards for your hard work could be in the form of love. Okay? But do not lower your standards this week. I feel like you deserve, okay? You deserve something. Um, don't lower your standards, okay? There's an opportunity to have it all. Nine of Cups. Now, this is wish fulfillment. This is a dream come true. It's like a wish is being granted for you when you get the Nine of Cups. Things are probably going to start looking up for you. Okay, deep fulfillment is coming. If it hasn't come already, it's coming. Okay, if you're single, you could be meeting a soulmate. I mean, the Nine of Cups is a dream come true. It is abundance. It is having it all. So if something is happening this week. It looks to be very, very positive. This is a wish coming true, realizing your dreams. It probably starts with self-love. This is a thing, this is like you're worth it, you're worth it, you're worth it. Remember what you're worth. You may be pinching yourself this week, you're so happy. You know, you may be. Seven of coins reverse. So in the past, something didn't grow. It didn't grow for a reason. You may have had to relocate. You may have had to plant your seed someplace else. You may have been unrealistic in the path, in the path, in the past, but things are changing now. Okay, some sort of seeds that you planted a long time ago may be coming to fruition. It's time. It's time. Ah, we got the high priestess here. Now this is a card of Oh, observation. Time to reflect. You may need time to reflect. You may have been calling in something, you know, because a high priestess has a divine connection. This is somebody that is very spiritual, that connects with the other world. So you may have manifested something. You may have uh, a wish ha is coming true for you. That's for sure. Now, this is some, some of you may have received some advice, maybe even something from your gut. This is advice coming in. Your intuition. Your intuition may be guiding you. You may be receiving some sort of spiritual uh, advice from somebody. 
but this is guidance of some sort. So I do feel like you've received some sort of guidance. I think that you've called in something. You've called in something. You've manifested something. And usually the magician is manifestation, but the magician does come before this. So it comes before the high priestess. So yes, you've manifested something. You have. You are about to receive something that you asked for. Okay? May not be what you think that it is, though. Um... Six of coins. You're definitely receiving something. This is something that you deserve. You're going to be receiving something you deserve. Maybe it, so for some of you, it's a job. For some of you, it's a job. It's a payout. Maybe you've been on this dead-end road. Things are going to change this week. If it's not a job offer, it's something solid. It's something stable. It's something real. You may have been begging for it. You may have been praying for it. You may have been manifesting it. It's definitely time. Whatever this is, this is a solid opportunity, okay? It's a golden opportunity. It's This is about... Somebody is about to give you something. Whatever they're giving you, it's very generous. Okay, this is abundance. You may need time to reflect on this offer. You know, you could be dealing with somebody. Maybe this person's a little bit older than you. They're, they're very, very wise. They, have, they are very abundant. They're offering you something. Somebody is offering you something. And you may be very self-sufficient or you may be very alone. You're definitely going to need time to think about this. Six of coins. May have something to do with a partnership because twos, and this is the, the high priestess is very single, you know, typically, not always, but twos are partnerships. So this may have to, and this is, this is, this is like a two as well. So something to do about with a partnership. There's definitely an opportunity here that could make you very, very, very happy. You've asked for it. You've called it in. Six of blades reversed. Now that's a six of swords reversed. That's stuck. You've been stuck. You may have been stuck in a rut. Somebody may see that you've been stuck. There's been a lack of investment. There's been a lack of growth. You've been stagnant, but I feel like things are about to change. You may have been refusing to take a new approach, but I feel like this week maybe you go within and you realize something because the high priestess is about realizing your goals, you know? And when you realize that the universe responds... So anyway, I do believe that this is a week of definite positive change for you. You're, this is like a generous offer that is coming your way. Could be from somebody that is very intuitive, very spiritual, that sees something in you. They may see your value. They may see that you have something to offer. You know, that where there could be some sort of reciprocation, where there could be some sort of equality, you know, equal give and take. Well, that six of swords reversed, that is definitely stuck. You have been in a very troublesome situation where there has been no growth. But your dreams are, about, are manifesting right now. So if you've been stuck in a troublesome situation, I really feel like things are about to change. Three of coins, yeah, this could be a job offer or, or a collaboration with somebody. You're going to be communicating with somebody that has something for you, okay? This person can give you something that... You know, you may have to start or learn some new skills or do something that you've never done before. But I do believe that this is something that will pay off for you. Um, this is working together as a team with somebody else. This is a new opportunity. It's probably not something that you have done before. Okay, and you may be reluctant. You may need to take time to think about this offer because you've never done it before. You may be like, hmm, is it, will this really grow? Will it really benefit me? Yes, I think it will bring you, abund bring you abundance. I think that it could really bring you a lot of abundance if you can follow your gut and, and work with this person, whoever this person is. Whoever this person is, is this is they're giving you an opportunity that can bring balance and harmony in your life and i feel like you have been unbalanced you may have been on a path of uh you know where there's been a lot of turbulence where there's been a lot of troubled waters you know and you've been reluctant to take any new approaches because you just didn't uh, 
No, you know, you didn't know how to do that. You know what I mean? This is a week where you learn some new skills or you may want to accept an offer from somebody that could teach you new skills. I think that you have a very wise individual here that is very, very skilled that can teach you something if you are willing to allow them to teach you. Okay, this is somebody that has some sort of expertise. That's the way I see it. Um, five of Blades. No, the Five of Blades is the Five of Swords. So that is struggling. Struggling. Um, struggling with ego. So somebody may be struggling with their ego. They may be having a hard time. This is fighting. Not realizing that there's no need. There's no need to fight this. This is somebody that is uh, having some sort of power struggle. Wanting to be in charge. Wanting to win at all costs. There's no need. There's not, it's not about winning at all costs. It's about happiness. So anyway, when I see the five of swords, I feel like you've been in a hostile situation and you know, you don't have to, you don't have to be in this situation. This is defeated. Surrender. Walk away. So I feel like you need to walk away from something. I feel like, you know, you may, maybe you've been defeated and, and you have to, maybe it's time to work with somebody else. It's time to uh, accept something because this is a card of acceptance. It feels like somebody has something for you. You should accept it. It may not be what you want. It may not be what you thought, but it can lead you down the path to stability. It can help you to get through this conflict that you have been through or this power struggle that you have been through. I feel like somebody has really, really been struggling with their ego and they've been non-negotiable, right? I'm not going to, I'm not going to negotiate only looking out for number one. This is somebody that, you know, has no morals, always wanting to fight, 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 fight. I feel like you have an opportunity that could bring you stability, but you got to let down your desire to fight. Now, this is about working together as a team. There is an opportunity to work together as a team, but you know, you may have to, um, Learn some new skills or be willing to do learn new skills. Be willing to compromise. This is a card of compromise. Now, this is very, very troubled, stuck, trapped in this troubled place, not investing, not putting in much work. This is a week of change. It is. You may receive some sort of epiphany or intuition or gut you know, message or advice from somebody. It could be from a counselor or somebody. You may receive some advice that says, you know what? You have an opportunity here, but fighting is not going to bring you any type of success. You need to remove yourself from the battleground. Stop fighting. Anyhow, um, there could also be two people. If you are single and you are watching this, because we have the three of coins here, and then we have the, this right here. This is two people fighting. We may have two people that are fighting over one person. So I'm not sure if that is your story. You may need time to reflect and make a choice. I do believe you're going to be receiving an offer from somebody that you probably, maybe you fought with this person in the past. You may have a new opportunity here as well. This is harvest time. You're going to you're you have plenty. Okay? You're going to be you may be getting plenty of offers this week. This is definitely a week of receiving something. You are going to be receiving something that can bring balance and harmony in your life, but you're going to have to make a choice. Do you want to put in effort? Do you want to fight? Do you want to play games? Do you want to struggle? What do you want to do? So this is a choice this week. There is an opportunity for abundance here. Somebody sees something in you, and it could be two people. So you may be struggling. You're going to really need to go within and listen to your gut. That is for sure. You're going to be receiving communication. I feel like it's from two different people. And it may make you very, very troubled. You're going to think, you know, which one should I invest in? What one should I invest in? Don't be tempted to lower your standards, please. You have 
a big opportunity for love here. It looks like it's beautiful. Magician reversed, master manipulator. Oh boy, don't be impulsive. This is somebody that may do something without thinking. Take time to think about your actions this week. Okay, you could get yourself into trouble. If you don't think about your actions, you could get yourself into trouble. Okay? So I feel like this week you're going to be presented with an option. You are. This is, this is, you're going to be presented with an option that, you know, there could be a battle. There could be a fight that gets you in trouble. Okay. So just be really, really, really careful. Um, you could be dealing with somebody that is very, very, very manipulative and they may try to manipulate you. They have their own hidden agendas. This is somebody that is very secretive, you know, so I think that you need to be careful this week. Um, you also have an opportunity for wish fulfillment and happiness. And you're, so anyway, the choice is always yours. It is. Nothing is ever easy. So they, they typically, when they bring you an opportunity that can make you happy, they will usually test you at the same time. So you are probably going to be tested this week. You may have been begging somebody for attention. Now you have a new opportunity. Well, here they come. You're definitely going to be tested this week. I do believe that there's a hostile situation here as well. This can be hostile. This can be hostile. This can be hostile. So I feel like you may be involved in a hostile situation with somebody and you need to be very careful. This person has hidden agendas. They're keeping secrets from you. And they may be in a third party situation. So I think that you need to be careful. Be aware. Make sure that you are aware. And you, but the thing is, 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 is you have an opportunity for wish fulfillment, you, but you have to be willing to shed the old. And maybe that's the choice that you need to make. In the upright, the magician is willing to shed the old to bring in the new. But in the reverse, this is like, I'm not willing to shed the old. Uh, you know, this is trouble. It's trouble. So you are going to have to make a choice. If you want to continue to fight with somebody that fights with you all the time and deal with these power struggles, well, then, you, you know, you're going to continue to struggle, okay? Anyhow, I do believe that you have an opportunity for love here and happiness and abundance, but you have to be willing to take action. You have to be willing to listen to your gut. You have to be willing to... Uh, move in a positive direction and not keep staying in this troubled situation where that has no growth. So anyway, I feel like this week that, you know, you're going to have to make a choice as to whether, you know, you want to work with somebody new or you want to uh, continue to be controlled by a person that has some sort of power over you. Somebody has some sort of power over you. You've given your power away to this person. And they love the power that they have over you. So you're going to be presented with two options this week. So anyway, Capricorn, um, be prepared. I mean, be prepared for some sort of communication from somebody that wants to work, well, two people that want to work with you. And this could be a job offer as well. And you have to choose wisely. Um, anyhow, you're definitely going to be struggling this week with a choice. Good luck.